No, okay, thank you. So good morning um, to your viewers, good morning to you. Um, you made the point that um, the University of Ghana is striking um, on the 10th. Um, it's not the University of Ghana striking. No, I'm saying the, the national, the national. But th there's been a, an issue with the $1,600 that you supposedly from the University of Ghana agreed with uh, the other side and all of that. Can you give us some clarity well, on that? Well, so basically, um, a, a memorandum of understanding was signed by um, our negotiating um, team to agree on some 1,600 um, US dollars payable in 2024 as research allowance. Um, our constitution says that when the negotiation team goes to sign anything, they might come and receive validation from members. So when members met, um, we voted to reject that. And then we were insisting that um, that should be captured by um, our national in the kinds of uh, rationale that they may be articulating as being the reason why we want to go on strike. In fact, um, we were, it's, it's purely an internal matter where I just later on at, point, at a point in time I decided to go on strike solely on this rejection on the third. But there were some negotiations and discussions um, internally that uh, made us resign our decision and to say we are going to join our national um, uh, in going on strike on 10th. And the reasons um, for doing so will be articulated in a community that I believe should come out um, this evening or early tomorrow morning. But, but you can confirm that your conditions of service are in there as one of the reasons, just to end the conversation. Oh, yes. I mean, it's purely about um, the fact that our salaries are not ticket anywhere. Conditions of service are poor. Negotiations um, have not yielded much. Okay. Timelines and agreements which have not been um, respected are there too. So basically, people are frustrated. And um, it's gotten to that time where uh, it's going to be... Now, I don't think any amount of um, persuasion or... Um, sugarcoat and worse would get people to resign their decision. I, I think that we must generally as a nation be seeking to be talking about um, equity in our pay structure. Without equity in our pay structure, there would be never, in, we cannot have industrial harmony. And without the industrial harmony, um, governance cannot even be carried, you okay. know, as a, uh, in, in a country. Okay. And so it is always sad. Uh, recently, I heard the Minister for um, Employment and Labor Relations um, saying it publicly that they have increased um, salary by 7%, salary of public sector workers by 7%. And I asked myself, but so what is the increment of uh, salary and conditions of service, you know, of, of what the increment uh, rate and level? of conditions of service of Article 71 office holders. Right. It's on the average about 70%. Right. So you can't give the owners of the money 7% and give care tickets 70%. And mm -hmm. when we talk about okay. it, somebody says it's a constitutional matter. Is the constitution a Bible? The constitution is not a Bible. And as thinking beings in a thinking society, we've got the right to challenge constitutional content. That okay. is how come the 1902 constitution was subjected to a review. It is not a Bible. And so politicians cannot hide behind that discriminatory provision in the Constitution and, and, and ask us to tighten our belts while they will eat, their tummy will blossom, and they will believe they are losing their belt. You cannot ask us to tighten our belts whilst you chop and your okay. stomach will blossom. Prof, tomorrow, God willing, after tonight's uh, or this evening's meeting, uh, then... I'm sure we'll have a lot more to uh, chew on. You don't on. have much time. Uh, there are so many things that we can enter, but you don't have much right, time. Right. Let this be known that this is not something against anybody. It is, we are, we are not, I've always said, we are not anti-government. We are not pro-opposition. What we are for is for a better condition of service. I think teachers have been calm, they've been patient, they've been quiet for far too long. If you push human being to a wall, he doesn't go through the wall, he bounces back at you. 